Tonight I'm going to attempt to make a parabolic mirror out of this old satellite dish. A parabolic mirror is a device that takes in sunlight on this entire surface and focuses it onto a central point here so it creates intense heat or at least it ought to in theory. It's similar to when you have a magnifying glass and you can focus the sun onto a small point except that it's not a, a transparent glass that concentrates the sunlight it's a reflector. So in order to do this I need to make the surface shiny and I'm lucky enough to have this chrome spray paint that I'll use to do that but first I want to make the dish surface as smooth as possible so I'm going to do that with this 800 grit sandpaper and I will wet sand it so that's what I'll get started with first The smoother the surface is, the better the finished paint will be and the more reflective it will be. So I want to make this as smooth as I can. Painting is only as good as your prep work. That's what, that's what all the painters say. So I'll carry on with this for a few more minutes. I've finished wet sanding the dish. Now I need to rinse off this uh, slurry of paint dust and water and then it will be ready for a fresh coat of paint. The dish is now clean and dry so let's put some paint to it. I'm using this chrome aluminum spray enamel that I found somewhere so hopefully it will be shiny enough to achieve the, des the desired results. Maybe I should paint this upright. Stand by. Here we go, now I can look it square in the eye. I've heard that the metal colored paints are the best ones to sniff, so there's a tip for you if you're one of those types. Eh, it doesn't look real shiny. This might be a failed experiment. But if you're watching it, then it probably had some success, or I just toss it into my giga trash. So, well I'll let that stand for a minute and maybe put another coat on it. It's not as smooth as I had hoped. I let the first coat of paint dry and then I laid down a second coat as thick as I could without it dripping and that made the surface a little shinier. So I will wait for this to dry and then see what I can do with this device. Here's the result. Nothing spectacular. I haven't been able to uh, flash water into steam from this thing or start fires, but I think if the finish was more mirror-like or if the dish was bigger, it could definitely throw out some power. When I put my hand right at the focal point there's definitely a lot of heat there I wouldn't you can kind of feel a certain spot like right there it's it's pretty hot there it would 
it would burn my hand if I left it there for very long. Very hot. I just thought of a use for this device. I had to tell you. It will be my wintertime hand warmer. Because in the wintertime, when the hands are freezing outside doing work, just put your hands in front of this and it will warm them up very, very well because the sunlight will still be concentrated and it will it'll be over 100 degrees in that focal point. So if I'm out chopping wood or digging a hole or something and I get a cold feeling in my palms, no problem. Just stick my hands in front of this hand warmer, solar hand warmer, and I'll be good to go. So it's amazing what you can uh, repurpose items into. Thanks for watching.